Okay, so what we've got here is an HP all-in-one Ryzen 5 desktop PC um, and what we're going to be doing today is um, removing the hard disk and replacing it with an SSD drive to improve performance. Um, it's a bit of a fiddly one to do this one because uh, it's a single back cover whereas previous ones that we've done um, it's just a removable panel from the bottom so the first thing that you want to do is to get rid of this stand so that we can get to the uh, the panel easily and the way you do that is there's a series of four screws or um, star screws under the um, under the bracket mounting here so you want to remove those and once that's done um, then we can get into the back okay so the the Torx driver that you want to use, uh, this is a T10 for these screws. Um, once they've all been undone or removed, the, as you can see, it'll just lift straight off. Um, and once we've done that, there is two screws under here, as you can see, one there and one there. So we remove those covers to get to the screws and then we should be able to get the, uh, the back panel off. Okay, so once you've got the screw plugs out, you can see there that it is, in fact, um, you can use a multitude of drivers to get in there. Um, let's see if we can zoom in a bit. So um, you can use a flathead driver or uh, a Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to get into there. One on each side, and that's as, uh, as far as it goes in terms of... Um, the screws holding the back on. Okay so once you've got the screws released you can see if you have a look in there you can see their little cantilever locks so they lock into the onto the uh, the top plate uh, the, the screen um, and you want to release those and then you want to get a little screwdriver or a prizer tool and just unclip uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's about 10 or 15 clips all the way around. You can see the clips there, there, and they go all the way around and all the way down the other side as well. So once you've got those released, you can see that the actual back panel will become loose. And what we can do then is we can then go and turn it over um, and with that back panel should come off. On the side here, you've obviously got the um, the CD drive. Uh, you don't need to take that out because that is all built into the back panel assembly. And if we have a look under here, you can see that it's connected via a cable all the way back um, underneath there. So this whole assembly unit will just raise up like so, uh, and that will then give you the ability to get to the hard disk that's under this cage here. Um, apart from that, there's not a lot to this. Um, now, we, uh, now we've done that part, what we can do is we can go ahead and um, get this disk cloned. Uh, we'll remove the hard disk, put the SSD drive in, and then we'll clone this hard disk to the SSD drive. And then we'll get it assembled back together, um, and that should be all there is to it. So to remove the drive cage, um, you want to remove the SATA connector like so and then on the actual cage there is one screw here that you need to remove um, and that cage will then pop out. So once the tray is removed the next thing to do is you want to take out the hard disk there's four screws um, around the sides so one, two, three and then fourth one down there. Um, once that's taken out you can then go ahead and pop your SSD drive in. Uh, if it's a two and a half drive, inch drive, there's four screws, or four screw holes here, which should line up, which they do to the holes on the disc. We're using a 500 gig WD blue. Um, so once that's mounted, we can then go ahead and clone the hard drive to the SSD. So there's a slide mechanism, so it just basically um, goes under these two pins at the bottom here, two there. Uh, the top side slides under a little bracket there, and this one sl also slides under a bracket there. Um, and then once that's in, it's just a matter of reattaching the screw in the top. 
So now the drive cage is reinstalled, um, it's just a matter of getting the cover back down so that will all snap into place and then you've got the, um, the two cantilever locks at the top um, which sit in the bottom and that will lock into this slot down there and the slot down there um, and that's all there is to it. So let's get that reassembled and then we can do the clone. So once you've got the um, the back cover in place, don't forget to lock the locking screws um, and then pop the the little rubber grommets back in there. So that finishes it off nicely, and they just they just push in, um, and that's all there is to it. The final piece of mounting is of course the stand that just slides over the top there. That locks into place and then you've got the four torque screws which are T10s uh, to go back and screw that back up. Okay so once the system's all back together um, it's just a matter of booting off a USB stick with Macrium Reflect so this is the free version that allows you to clone um, your hard disk to solid state drive uh, and this is exactly what we're doing. Um, so the disk that we replaced is a one terabyte disk and the one that we've got in there is a 500 gig disk so this takes um, a little bit of time, takes up to 30 minutes because what it has to do it runs a trim operation so it's got to shrink the C drive partition that currently is uh, one terabyte, it's got to shrink that down to 500 gigabyte and then clone that onto the drive. So that's what's happening at the moment. Once that's finished, um, it's just a matter of unplugging the hard disk that we've got and um, restarting the PC, which will then boot up directly from the SSD drive that we've got installed. So that's all there is to that process. Um, I'm not going to go too much more into this because we've covered this several times on previous videos. But if you want any more information then leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. If you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for additional unusual tech upgrades stroke repairs. Thanks for watching.